What's up everybody, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to make the cutouts here for the instrument panels. This is the second video of my home cockpit project. In the first video, I showed you guys how I built this whole section over here. I'm gonna leave a link in the description below of where you can see this video. And if you haven't done so already and you wanna follow me through this project, hit the subscribe button below. Also, if you like my video, don't forget to hit the like button below. So let's go ahead and get started on this project. So the first thing I did was I went on my computer and I made a paper template of what I want to cut out. I kind of had to make up my own dimensions here because I couldn't find any reliable sources online with proper dimensions. They were dimensions but they all were slightly different so I decided just to make what works good for me. Then I glued it onto the piece of wood that I'm going to use as a template. This will be my guide for when I'm cutting out the holes. I don't have a CNC machine like some people do to create perfectly cut panels. So I'm going to do this using a router that I actually bought just to do this project. And the next thing I did was start cutting out strips to go around the template. You'll see how these all go together in the next few seconds. Now that all the strips are cut, I'm placing them around the lines of the template that I had created to see how well they fit. I had used the lines to make the measurements to cut the strips. Now we're going to start securing each strip to the board. We had pre drilled holes in the strip to prevent the strips from splitting while we're nailing them in. We're going to nail on each strip with two nails to make sure that the strip is properly secured to the board. This will prevent the strips from moving while we're cutting. So now it's finally time to start cutting the template. I'm using a flush trim bit here on the router. So what this bit does is that it's using the wood that we had nailed onto the board as a guide to cut out the holes. One important thing that I learned when using a router like this, you want to be careful when cutting pieces like this because as you can see, uh, as I get closer to cutting the center of this piece out, that center piece starts jumping around in there and that can be kind of dangerous. So you want to be very careful when making cuts like this. And then I went back around and started smoothing everything out. Now we can go ahead and start removing all of the strips. And here's the finished template that we have made. It came out pretty nicely. I couldn't have made these straight cuts without the router. The router proved to be a very useful tool when doing this. So now we're going to go ahead and start cutting the holes out on our main instrument panel. The first thing I started doing in preparation to cut the holes was to trace out where I'm going to put the template on the main panel. And then I secured the template down with four screws. This is all being done on the back side of the main instrument panel. The next step is to drill the hole of where the router would start cutting. And now we insert the router and we start cutting. And always remember, safety first. And we have a nice perfect cut and I'm getting more and more excited because it's starting to look like a cockpit. And then we move the template and cut out the second hole. And here we go, we have two nice cutouts for the instrument panels. So the method used here to make the template and make the cutouts for the instrument panels can be used to make many other things for the home cockpit. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you liked the video, give it a big thumbs up. Also, if you haven't done so already and you want to follow me through this project, hit the subscribe button below. And leave some comments in the comment section below. Let me know what you think. I hope to see you guys in the next video where I'll be making the bezels to go around the screen that's going to go right behind the panel over here. And I want to thank you guys again. I hope you guys have a great day and peace.